Okay, here's your icebreaker question to get you started. When do you feel most at peace and why? When do you feel most at peace and why? Talk about that with your group and we'll get started in a minute. Well, we're finally finishing up the book of Revelation this week. And uh, as we get to the end, the battles are all over. God's wrath is poured out. Justice has been served. Everything is balanced out with the scales of justice. And now, uh, as we look, we see a new heaven and a new earth. And so uh, I'd like for you to take the time to read the description of the new heaven and the new earth. Uh, perhaps uh, look at, at how it's different from uh, our current earth and uh, recognize the fact that a lot of times what we refer to as heaven is not really heaven in the, in the biblical picture. Uh, what we call heaven as far as in the future is actually uh, this earth has burned up. Uh, it has been uh, cleaned up and now it is brand new. Uh, and so uh, read that description and then uh, talk about that a little bit. What's your, uh, what strikes you the most? What's your fit most favorite part, the part that you like the most about the picture of the new earth, the new heaven and the new earth? Uh, and what's the most uh, frightening or uh, uh, thing or the, the thing that you just don't like? Uh, about the, the picture of the new heaven and the new earth. So read the description, talk about that with your group, and uh, press play when you're ready to continue. Me personally, I, I tend to like the outdoors. Uh, you can probably tell by the, the videos that I end up making. And, and part of uh, enjoying the outdoors is, is I like it where there's some space. So, uh, you know, cows and cornfields, even when the, when the field is empty, I, I like it uh, just being where there's space uh, out a little bit more of a, a countryside kind of a feel than a, than a city kind of a feel. The, um, the thing is, though, that uh, the picture of the new heaven and the new earth has a uh, not a country kind of a feel, but a uh, a city that is at the center of the picture of that new heaven and new earth, and that city is Jerusalem. And really, in order to understand uh, the idea of a city and and how that could be at the center of things and why that is important, we need to understand cities. Uh, back then. Uh, a city today, we might think about buildings or we might think about uh, 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 decorations at Christmas time like we, uh, we have coming up here uh, in Thanksgiving. Uh, we might think about uh, architecture and a skyline. We also might think about things like poverty and, and high population density and crime. But a city back in John's day was the place that uh, people came together so that it would be safe. See, if you're out in the countryside, there's nobody to protect you. You can't get the police to you or a, a soldier to help you out if somebody attacks you, like we can today. But, uh, but back then, what you would do is you would go to the city, and the city was protected. The city had a wall around it. The city would have a gate that people had to go through to get into it. And that gate would be closed at night and a garrison would be stationed to watch and make sure that nobody attacks. And if they do, everyone would be woken, waken up and, uh, and would be able to go to battle to fight against the attackers. The city was a safe place. 
And Jerusalem was uh, not just any city, but it was the city where the temple of God was located. And inside the temple of God was the Ark of the Covenant in a room that was considered the most holy place or the Holy of Holies. It was the place where God dwelled. And so when you go to Jerusalem, you are going closer to God, drawing near to God. The picture that we have of the new heaven and the new earth has a new Jerusalem. And the city is described, pulling together things from the Old Testament and the New Testament, uh, the, uh, the 12 tribes of Israel, the 12 apostles, pulling together the teachings and what God has done throughout the Old Testament and New Testament history. And, uh, and we see the city is pure and beautiful and perfect and holy, and it is the place where God dwells. You see, uh, going to heaven is not about fire insurance and avoiding hell. It's about the people of God getting to be with God for eternity. What I'd like you to do is to read not only what's on the piece of paper or your computer screen, but go ahead and pull out your Bible and read the rest of the description of the new Jerusalem of this city. And then just talk about it. Uh, what do you find most appealing? What do you like the most? Uh, what strikes you the most about the description of this city, the new Jerusalem? The last thing we see in uh, the end of the book of Revelation here is a, a restoring of everything back to the original picture that God has uh, for us uh, and had for us in the Garden of Eden uh, with Adam and Eve in the Garden. We see coming out of the city, Jerusalem, a, uh, um, a river uh, with the water of life. And on either side of that water are the tree of life. Uh, and we haven't seen the tree of life since the very beginning of the Bible uh, in, in the Garden of Eden where there was the tree of life. And so now uh, God has restored everything to what it is that God wanted it to be from the very beginning. And we who want to be with God and want to walk with God gets to be with God and we get to walk with God. Uh, praise God. And so uh, as you read the rest of it, what you'll find is that, um, that this tree of life is a little bit different because we have been in a world that has been filled with sin and hurt and death and sickness and pain. And so the tree of life here uh, has leaves that will provide healing for the nations. Uh, we also see that, um, that uh, we have purpose as we get to serve uh, God, uh, our Lord, and uh, so we have reason to uh, uh, to do. You know, we have things to do, and uh, there's a sense of purpose and and reason uh, for being there. Uh, it is not just uh, to get away from something that is bad, but to enjoy what is good, enjoy God, enjoy people who are made in the image of God, and enjoy that sense of purpose. So as you uh, read through this last section, uh, I just encourage you to uh, read it and enjoy the picture uh, that God has for us in the future. Talk a little bit about uh, what you're looking forward to the most. Uh, maybe the, it's the healing of the nations or uh, your personal healing uh, as you are there with God. Uh, maybe it is that sense of purpose that, uh, that you'll have when you're there with God. Just talk about that a little bit. And then when you're done, uh, pray for one another that uh, we will all be ready because Jesus said, uh, be prepared. Uh, I am coming soon. Uh, God bless you. I know that I'm praying for you that we will all be faithful until Jesus returns or until we leave this life and we go home with him.